Welcome to another loop, but before I do that, I want to just showcase these books that I have written. They are called Friendship Journals. Uh, they're just a way to be able to help you connect with your friends and even people that you're dating or your mother, if you would like to. There are just different questions and you would write down the answers and then a year from now, you write them again. And then a year from that, you guys can look back and see um, how you guys have changed. So we are on the next loop, INTJs. Um, their function stack is Introverted Intuition extroverted thinking, introverted feeling, and extroverted sensing. When the INTJ is in their prime, they're using their first two functions, introverted intuition and extroverted thinking, and those balance each other out. But when the loop starts to happen, they start using their third function, and their third function is now supporting their first function. And since they're both introverted, they actually push the INTJ to go inward more. Initially, it's not a bad thing. It helps gain some perspective, but we can get stuck in that loop. And when that happens, we become obsessive. So hopefully I can explain what that obsession might look like and then some ways to maybe help get out of that loop. So when the INTJ enters into their loop, they can actually become impulsive with their actions because their introverted intuition is no longer being filtered through the rigorous logic and reasoning from their extroverted thinking, but now is being filtered through their inner code or moral code and value system, which is the introverted feeling. They can actually become paranoid by the people around them and their motives because their introverted intuition is now coming up with conclusions and what's validating their presumptions is not the logic that they would normally have, but how they feel about something. And because they're not using the facts that they normally would, they have a hard time being able to discern what is right and good. Introverted feeling can help refine an INTJ with their choices, but it shouldn't be the sole determiner of their choices. Introverted intuition needs extroverted thinking in order to refine all the possibilities with the facts and logic that they absorb from the outer world. Introverted feeling only provides more uncertainty as the potentials start to not have any grounds with logic and reasoning. And this can cause an INTJ to struggle in taking action. A way to be able to help, and this is not going to get you out, um, INTJs, they need to find the source of what's pushing them into this loop and make sure that they can address that properly, whatever that might be. But what can also help is finding ways to stimulate their extroverted thinking. If they express theories out loud that can help or surrounding themselves with TE types like an ESTJ or an ENTJ. Also interacting with others and also writing their thoughts and plans out can really help. So I hope that was helpful. If you're an INTJ, I would really love to hear your experiences in the comment section below and especially share some things that you've learned whenever you've entered into this loop. I'm just gonna end with my friendship journals. Uh, they are in the description below. I hope they are a good way to help you guys connect with each other and I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know, see ya.